Yes, of course. Um, so my name is Serena DeBeer. I am from the Max Planck Institute for Chemical Energy Conversion. And in my research group, we're really interested in trying to understand both biological and chemical catalysts and how they operate on an atomic level. So our goal is really to ultimately use this information to inform rational catalytic design. And that means we need to intimately understand the mechanisms of these catalysts and exactly where all the atoms are and where the electrons are at any given point in time. So what we're studying today are catalysts that actually activate strong CH bonds. And this is a process that needs to happen in order to make basically all of the fine chemicals, all of the pharmaceuticals, effectively products that touch every aspect of our lives. And what we're studying now at the FXC are iron-based catalysts that form strong iron-oxygen bonds that are able to break CH bonds. And we want to understand how these catalysts actually evolve as a function of time. These catalysts actually become far more reactive when you shine light on them. And so at the FXC, we have the opportunity to do a pump probe experiment to see how that catalyst actually changes on very short time scales. And what we do is we study catalysts that have different kinds of activity, and we correlate the excited state spectroscopy to the ability of the catalyst to do its actual chemistry. And so we really need um, to be able to go into the femtosecond time domain to do a pump probe experiment. And here what we're doing is simultaneously following multiple emission processes so we can follow the changes both in electrons and positions in atoms as a function of time. Yeah, great question. So the reason we need to know the details of the iron-oxygen bonds is this actually dictates the mechanism. And so what we believe happens is that the iron-oxygen bond actually elongates during the reaction and it picks up what we call oxyl or radical character. And so we believe that makes it far more reactive. And if we can tune um, sort of how we arrive at this oxyl character and how long this oxyl species has lived, we can really make better catalysts. And this is sort of what we're aiming to try to learn and understand with these experiments. It's going really well. So I think um, we're incredibly excited about um, the data that we have so far. We're pretty early in our measurements, but I can say that we've been able to obtain time resolve, so pump probe um, spectroscopy, in the valence to core region. This is a region where the signals are incredibly weak, but they inform us about the exact positions of atoms. So they'll tell us that this iron oxo is elongating to form this iron oxyl, that hot species that we think is doing all the chemistry. And we've never been able to measure it so quickly on such dilute species. And so for us, um, we're really excited about the opportunities that FXC oper opens up in terms of understanding catalysis. Mm -hmm.